how can you allow the devil to make you an inhabited place? Well, the same way that the Bible says that our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And if you have not given place to the Holy Ghost, right? If you have not given place to the Holy Spirit through obedience to God, then who do you think you're giving place to? Hmm? All right, if you don't get it, let's look at this. Let's go to Matthew 12, Matthew 12, verse 43 to 45. It says, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. You hear that? When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, meaning an unclean spirit can be in a man. All right. An unclean spirit can take place, can inhabit a man. Cool, all right. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest. Oh my days. All right. You tell me, why do you have a house? Why do you have a place that you live? That place is for you to rest. You have that place um, that where you, where you can have peace and where you can rest. All right. Now, the, de- the, the Bible is telling me that the unclean spirit goes out of a man and now he's trying to find a new place. Where he can what? Rest. Where he can find inhabitation. So it says he walketh through the dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house. This isn't talking about a physical house. This is talking about you, the human body. Your it's the dwelling place. You are where it settles. You are its house. 